Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be checking out this Google Cardboard headset. Now, believe it or not, this was actually Google's first Google Cardboard headset that was made. This was actually their first prototype and you can tell from its rough designs and beautiful layout. I mean, they really put a lot of thought into the design, but then they, they said probably screw it. This is cardboard. Why would you put any electrical tape on it and make it look nice like uh... Anyways, unfortunately it broke. I was supposed to make this video like exactly a year ago, but it didn't happen because I was too busy playing around with this thing. It was too good for me. I couldn't make a video about it. I was too much too busy enjoying it and then, you know, things drifted. But anyways, um, today we're going to actually be taking this apart and making our own recycled headset. And the way we're going to actually be doing that is by using these two water bottles right here. Now, um, these are recycled water bottles from the Great Canadian Springs, but uh, they're going to be turning into our headset. So, um, so first you're going to need some scissors, uh, some electrical tape because you want to make this thing waterproof, of course. And uh, make sure you get a lot of electrical tape, a lot of RGB electrical tape, and um, some RGB strips for good measures, and a uh, charging cable, and finally a uh, power bank because you want to be able to run this thing forever, right? So. Yeah, let's get right into it. So first things first, you want to get these two water bottles and put them aside for a sec here and uh, clean up your table because nobody can work with a messy table, right? And yeah, so we're going to first start off by taking apart the uh, lens and, uh, wait. What? What? Seems like we are missing a lens, guys. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to make this into a, um, a mono headset. So, there is one lens, and uh, yeah, that's not quite unfortunate, but don't worry, we can we can definitely we can definitely make this work. It's not a problem. All right, so now you're probably wondering where do you get these lenses? Well, they actually told me that they got these from a set of broken binoculars, but the problem is with uh, getting different lenses from random places or from strangers on the street. Um, you want to first check them out by getting this thing, putting it up close to your eyes, getting your phone, and you want to kind of just put it up to your eyes until you get the focus, just like that. So, uh, if I, we put it on here, so we can see that we need about an inch of uh, space, so that's how much space we need in order to get the perfect focus with this lens. And you will definitely get a really high quality uh, focus with, uh, with these since the last time I tested them. So, first of all, you want to get a good water bottle, and make sure it is perfectly dry and you want to put in uh, the lens like that and now here's where you can get creative you can actually get to choose what kind of color uh, electrical tape you want to tape this thing so I'm gonna go for red because because that is our color if you guys didn't know and you want to kind of just tape it around the edge like so and then you want to get your giant scissors and tape that just like that now you can almost just use this as uh, a magnifying glass you can like do a lot of things with it but the next part is, we need to measure one inch, just like we measured last time, and it seems like, and we need about an inch, I'll give it an inch and a half, just to be safe, and about this, uh, around this point right here, so you want to get your scissors again, your big boy scissors, and you want to just kind of cut a slit like that, and uh, we just gotta put in the phone, and you just gotta put your phone in just like, uh, hold on, that's not gonna work. Now uh, we're actually going to need a smaller phone, so we got this iPhone 4 right here. It's got uh, plenty of power and it's got Google Cardboard, so that's what we're here for, right? So, um, just click next. Now we don't have a QR code, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's fine. Just, just get, get out. Get out. And then you just got to put it uh, just kind of like this. That's... What? not working oh. okay so uh, unfortunately this phone does not work um, yep because it's Apple of course and I'm uh, gonna be using the Xiaomi phone instead and there we go so now what you want to do is you get your phone and you simply want to slide it in just enough actually let's just open up just like that just enough to the point where you can see one of the displays like so and uh, just tell it to go back and then 
and that's it so next up is you want to make the mount nice and secure so this time we're going to use a really nice color of uh yellow and you kind of just want to make a cross like this and uh just like that now if we take a look down here we can see that the focus is absolutely perfect so Oh, shit. While it restarts, uh, that's, that was intentional. We're gonna take these. Uh, we're gonna take the strip here, and we're gonna actually make it RGB because who doesn't like RGB? And basically, we're just gonna tape it like this. And this time, I'm thinking of using uh, some nice, uh, some real nice ocean blue here. And come on, come on, come on. Eh. Shit. There we go. And uh, basically. And you just kind of want to tape it down like this, you know, on the other side so it doesn't fall apart. And uh, just like that. Perfect. Now, um, seems like the phone is still restarting. I think it, I think I broke it. Moving on, um, now you need the final touches and basically you're going to need to get the power bank this time. Because remember this is a permanent mod and we're going to just uh, make another uh, slit right here. Just like that, and you want to install your power bank so you can actually have access in a way. And you want to kind of do it in a way where you can just have full access to everything. And then you have this end cap right here; you can cover it up. But basically, we're going to be exposing that, and we're going to be hooking the um, the phone to the 2.1 amp uh, charging port and the LED strip to the 1 amp because LEDs don't use a lot of battery. And you can see you can have full access to the eye up to the ports here. You can charge your tablet and you can charge the uh, power bank itself now did this thing work yeah okay so finally you want to take this charging port and uh, put it in the back of the phone here oh look what do you know it's a uh, USB type-c so uh, <clears throat> it is very modular it's a very modular system you take this port out and you throw it in the trash and now you take this super long useless cable this USB type-c cable and you uh, you want to wrap it around itself along with the RGB strip cable just like that nice cable management very simple actually uh, very sleek and then you just want to kind of just bend the cable like that and uh, <clears throat> you just want to bend the cable and just, just, just put it just like that all right and now we're gonna take the other side and hook it up like so and you want to make sure you put the right connections otherwise this thing is gonna blow up on you all right and there we go so, are you guys ready? We have the headset hooked up. As you guys can see, it has full focus. Actually, it's just... Shit. Just... No, 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 no. Please don't. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. And now you're complete. So, as you guys can see, it is fully focused. It's got some uh, water on it, but that's fine because this thing is water resistant. And as you can see, it is a very slick design. It is I would call it this... Uh, I probably call this the mono mono VR mono mono reality because gosh because you have one eye that you can look through and see how things look like now if you actually use the other eye to look at the screen you'll get this blurry image and you get this kind of a realistic 3d effect it's really it's really surreal but anyways uh, let's turn off the lights and see how this thing performs all right are you guys ready this thing looks freaking amazing all right here we go we're gonna turn on the power bank and Check that out, RGB madness on this mono reality headset. Now, this is actually one of a kind, nobody has attempted to do this before, but you have seen it here, first on VR Commando, and this is exciting guys, I mean, this is just beautiful, look at this, RGB madness, it looks beautiful, it looks like a Christmas tree, I mean, who is not going to be jealous of this thing, just look at this. It's freaking amazing. You got a charging, you're charging your phone and you're charging the headset. I mean, you're charging the phone and you're charging, I mean, you're powering the, uh, the RGB strip. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, of course it's too bright. So let me just uh, adjust this. I mean, look at this, look at that. Does that look freaking amazing or what? I mean, it's, it's really clear and uh, it's a mono headset. So, I mean, I can actually use it. it honestly, in all honesty, you can actually use it very well, and the quality is <laughs> surprisingly really good. Now, the only downside I would see with this thing is uh, Google's going to run after my ass, and uh, they're going to kick it. I just ruined their first Google Cardboard prototype. 
it is kind of heavy, but I mean, it is a one-handed uh, mono reality headset, and it is a one-of-a-kind, so that's not even a downside. But yeah, guys, that is it for the RGB mono reality headset. You've seen it first. This is the first headset ever to be uh, ever made or attempted anywhere in the whole entire world. And that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. You might just get a coffee. I'll be back later. Oh, shit.